What's happening guys? This is Steam Lone Wolf Tech coming back to you with another Ticket project. And uh today we should get um a little bit more updating to do. I know the last few episodes have seemed like they've all been, you know, updates, but a lot of stuff has happened. Now I will give you a heads up. Today's video is going to have uh, a lot of lag, mostly because of um I was working on my computer today and I accidentally pop the heatsink off of my CPU so that pretty much probably ruined the thermal grease inside so yeah I've uh, gone ahead and ordered some so no worries there uh, should come in anytime soon and I'm also transferring my 106 gigs of games over to a another uh, computer on my network so that should take up some bandwidth so yeah, no overclock, a lot of stuff happening behind the screen, but you know what? We're still going to have the project, like we always do. So uh, let's jump into it now. Um, for y'all who are very special, uh, if you've noticed in my inventory, I have some weird-looking blocks. If you by chance know what those blocks are, uh, well, spoiler, you can probably guess what they're for, but uh, we're not going to go into that. For y'all who don't know, well, you know. You'll, you'll find out eventually. So, uh, quarry wise, I have um, taken out all the frames. So, yeah, that was pretty fun with the laser. And um, what I think I'm going to do is there's a machine that I will test out on here that would hopefully fill up all this so it won't be, you know, open and stuff. But, you know, that's, that's a later episode. So let's go run in here and check what we got going. Now, this has just been on a while and not much, you know, really happening. Got a whole lot more dark matter now. You know, it's not overflown or anything. Um, the bone one, I just stuck a few more, uh, a few more redstone engines on it and it hasn't overflown or anything. So that's good. I thought I saw something overflow and I haven't been up here to check this one so a few stacks of diamonds pretty good now not this episode but probably next episode we will be upgrading our power flower so that's on the to-do list for this weekend and that's that so let's move on to a uh, good question I guess we'll go look at our cores if I didn't no, I still got plenty of coal we'll go look at our cores and see how they're doing now uh they should be off because we had an overflow of items um uh, just all that cobblestone just gets to us so yeah looks like they're about the same depth you know only a few only about you know seven layers deep so doing pretty well starting to get some good stuff now and uh back to our house now you did see uh, I ran a glass fiber cable uh, from the downstairs where our power is to the upstairs um, I didn't really feel like getting you know another whole power system for the upstairs uh, because I think it's just gonna have random machines that if we're building something we can just run up there and you know if we need to macerate something just throw it in the macerator it'll be no big deal now I was going to get the corner blocks and kind of cover up the wire but I ran out of those so that's a project on the to-do list which I'll probably never get to so uh, one other quick thing is when the sorting system on is on because the timer is right below us this door will not stay open nor, nor will this door so if you can't ever go through these doors you know it's on just use these doors not much of a big deal I guess so first off we got a lot of um, scrap which we actually have more but I will show you what happened to the scrap because we've made a few changes to our facility down here which right off the bat aren't too noticeable now I turn off the cores because we have you know tons of stuff to be sorted through and I didn't want to overflow or anything but yeah so as you can see those blue atoms go through I have set up um, some more equipment now this is a mass fabricator and what a mass fabricator does 
is it makes um and we probably have some somewhere it makes let's see if we can't reach in this chest Oop. Is it in this chest yeah it makes this uu matter which uu matter can be used to make a lot of different things uh, like uh pull up on your wiki i think it could like eight of them can made, be made into diamonds and stuff just you know wiki it you you matter you can see what you can make out of it um but it's going to be used for a lot of the stuff coming up here soon so we're going to need a lot of it but uh basically what i've done is set up a mass fabricator which you pump well this is kind of weird um well, let me turn it off. I'll, I'll, I'll get to explaining all this. So, in the basics, you can pump electricity into a mass fabricator, and it will eventually make um, UU matter. But it will take a very long time and use up all of your power. This thing is a power hog, um, which will eventually lead to something else in the Tega project, but we're not going to get there yet. Um, now, you can put materials in this area of the mass fabricator to amplify, as you can see here, uh, how quickly it makes the UU matter. Now you can go on, you know, a tech at wiki and uh, find out what you can put on there or put in here. Now scrap is the um, the best you can put in there. Scrap will is the best amplifier and it'll make it run the fastest. So since we got a crap ton of scrap, that's what we're just going to do is we're just going to pump it straight into there because scrap isn't really used for much else. So we're going to pump all of our scrap in there. Now, and when you put something into the mass fabricator, it has to come um, in to uh, the bottom. Not the top, not the sides, like normal machines, into the bottom. And then you can pump out from, I think, I know you can pump out from all the sides and probably the top as well. Um, don't take my words for that. Um, what else we got? So if you apply a redstone signal to it, it will shut off completely. So we'll turn it on. As you can see, it's gonna this amplifier is gonna deplenish, and then this progress, once it hits 100%, is gonna make one UU matter. UU matter. It's a weird name to say. So we'll sit here a second and well actually I'll show you now I have two of these mass fabricators going and you can see how much it's consuming our power so we run out quite quickly and you didn't see the UU matter because it got pumped out but there it goes so it just looks like a purple piece of scrap but it's really expensive apparently now as you can see we're gonna run out power here in a few seconds but it will still go just you know a whole lot slower now the other one is actually below the system. So since we don't need any of the scrap, we're just gonna turn all the scrap um, into UU matter. Now, the one uh, this mass fabricator is set up to take all the existing scrap and then go back through the sorting system and then go into this mass fabricator. Now the one I set up down here is taking the scrap that comes out of the scrap machines or the um, whatever they're called I forget what they're called um, god what are they I, I, how did I forget what they're called what are you you're a recycler gosh I knew that so we're taking the scrap that comes out of the recycler and then we're just going to pump it straight into our uh, Wow, how did I... I'm off of it today. Right into our mass fabricator. So now, this system's a little bit more complicated. Um, mostly because I cannot seem to get move around. Alright, there we go. So, it's coming down from that iron pipe into here. And then this should be set to not what it is which probably has some effect on it so it should go down and then into the bottom and then that is going to make some UU matter 
and then we are going to pump it out of the side into a diamond pipe which is gonna or into an iron pipe and that's gonna hit the same pipe that it comes up from the other mass fabricator go down you know go around back into our system now right here is a little setup now this weird looking pipe on the end is an obsidian pipe which uh, I know I haven't done we haven't seen before but I'll explain it in a second um, but see what happens is because this is Billcraft pipes which we don't like um, when the when this thing gets filled up with um, uh, scrap it's gonna overflow like most other Billcraft machines will or Billcraft pipes will so the items are gonna fall onto the floor now instead of lagging up the server a lot with a bunch of items on the floor what this obsidian pipe will do will pick up any loose items and then put it in the pipe so if I throw this whatever it is if I cue it it's gonna pick it up and I'm not sure the exact range of this um, so seems to want to stop about there I guess probably not it's probably just a glitch um, but you know that's how it works and you probably you know look at it uh, take it wiki and see the exact range and all the other specs but you know I didn't really need to because it's it's such an it's in such a close parameter so that should hopefully save us from uh, server lag and uh, yeah that's about I think that's about it for the sorting facility there's not much else going on I guess we could take a look upstairs um, all I think I put up there was some cable and a macerator but you know get away from the lag so yeah uh, I'm just gonna run cable around the sides and then you know I'm gonna have a few macerators over here uh, I took down uh, the macerators are from the uh, the old macerating wall in our old sorting facility I just took down that whole thing since we're not gonna use it anymore so if, I, if I'm up here like building something you know I can just throw down a machine or hit one of the machines up here and have power so that's pretty nice now I don't believe there's too much else for us to look at this is kind of a short episode I guess unless we find something else um, don't really know what I've done with the sign but I kinda want it I kinda got laser happy on it this laser is so awesome um, but yeah guys there's not too much else to go over I don't want to start anything else uh, because um, it's gonna take forever because that's that we gotta make all that and everything else is pretty much a full episode away so um, I'm contemplating what one thing I do want to do is set up kind of a boat dock that's not gonna be it this episode because see how we kinda have a dock over there I think we need docks uh, eventually what I'd like to set up would be like an underground um, railroad system and then have it running under the ocean between facilities and then have like a cool um, like windows and stuff so you could like see under or above at the water I think that'd be pretty cool but uh, yeah guys thanks for watching the ticket project I know we didn't do too much but at least it's a short episode please like and subscribe if you like this video and for future videos, which I know you're going to like, follow me on Twitter. And uh, thanks.